Hello, thank you for clicking on my video. If you didn't know, about two months ago, I decided that I wanted to collect Lucembol's debut OT5. I really freaking love Lucembol. So I decided I wanted to collect their debut OT5, but I wanted to try out a different kind of binder layout for it. And then it kind of like spiraled into me like changing up and remaking like a whole binder for this collection so i thought i would just make this a full video of me not only setting up my lucemble ot5 collection but also going over my luna top 3 collection welcome back hustle and yeah i did get a whole new binder for this with new supplies so i thought we could just go over all of that today and store all of the lucemble cards that i have on hand so Let's do it. So this is the binder. It's from this brand. I kept the cover in because I haven't made a collage yet for this cover. And I figured this would just be the easiest way to like show the branding. So this is the binder I got. I wanted a four ring binder. I had to cut my sleeves because they didn't, or my like one pocket page dividers because they didn't fit, but that was fine. I wanted this kind of binder because I thought it would be the easiest to adapt a lot of different page types to. So like my regular nine pocket page, these are the Herka pages, fit this like perfectly. So yeah, welcome back Hustle. <laughs> Do a little flip through. The only card that I'm missing still is Hustle's XX card or XX, multiply, multiply, sorry sorry i am really not in any rush to get that card it's not very high priority at all so that'll probably be blank for a while but if you've been on my channel for a while you know that i previously collected my top three of luna and i completed this collection like over a year ago now so she's been complete for a while i am gonna collect hustle for artemis when they do official releases because plastic candy song of the year <laughs> yeah that's my luna collection these are the lubel showcase cards but these are all kind of like tour cards so i just made this little layout with them and then some random non-album for VV units. And then these also just like random two cards I had. So that is all for like everything Luna related. I don't think I will ever go back and collect any like Luna stuff, full group stuff at any point. I just don't want to go back and like buy cards <laughs> from those eras anymore. Um, I'm really just happy like supporting whatever they do moving forward. So that's what this section is for. I have really liked a lot of the post Luna projects specifically. This, oh my God, Heejin's debut, crazy album, crazy album. Like I, I can't believe she was just sitting on those. Like those have just been in the drafts, it's crazy. This album is so good. <laughs> I was thinking about collecting all of it, but I was also thinking about collecting all of Audi Circle's debut because, you know, Air Force One is, spoiler alert, my favorite title track of the year. But I think for now, I'm just going to keep this section here and I will just put in whatever, like, cards I get for Luna post projects and store them here. So these are my Kiki cards and they're so cute! There is, like, one more that I would really want, but... It's fine. I need to stop buying cards for people I don't like officially collect anyway, so. I also do want to buy a copy of version up. I haven't yet. I really want to buy it at my K-pop store, but every time they get it, they sell out in like 12 seconds. So yeah, that's <laughs> kind of where we're at there. But that was all for this section of the binder. Now let's move on to what I'm assuming most people are here for, the Lubel collection. This is a stack of cards I have on hand. It's a mix of album cards and pobs. I am gonna flip my camera around though. I think I have come up with a better way to show myself storing these cards. So I think this is the best way to do it. I apologize, you can see 
my floor cushion. Yeah, let's get to storing. I already made fillers and I just have a bunch of blank spots. So we'll kind of just go over everything I have on hand right now. Mostly thus far, I just have my pulls on hand. I do have a couple extra cards, but not too many. Like these are the only cards I have for the Wish version. There are three cards per version, but then there's also three additional selfie cards for the Ever Music version that are in the same concepts as like one of the album cards. So both two of the Wish versions will go on this page. The final Wish version set will go down here. And then the Ever Music set that's matching the Wish version will go on the bottom. I only have Hyunjin for this one, but I definitely have the most for the Dream version. I actually have a full set of five cards. Yeah, huge. I really can't decide which version is my favorite, which is also why I haven't really made a collage yet. I also don't have too many extra versions of this album on hand, but I know I'm definitely getting an extra album in one of my group orders. So I might just do whatever version of the album I get there. But, oh my God, this is huge. I also have this gold one, also for the dream version. And Golan's Ever Music card in this version. For the space version, if you saw my unboxing, I pulled Yojin's full set. Like, she's so funny. I love her so much. I was just simply over the moon when Yojin and Vivi were able to debut again together. These two, well, I guess we'll get to it when I get to the pop section again, but Yojin and Vivi are like two of my K pop idols of all time. Like, yeah, Vivi is one of my alt biases but I really just like love them so much and I'm so thankful that they're able to continue to promote his idols. Lusumble, Lubel is such a cute name for a group and I love them so bad. Okay, these are the two Ever Music cards I have for this. Like these outfits are so pretty and I like the background, like the background sets for this photo book a ton. So yeah, I. I'm really happy to have those. Now for this page, I do have two of the QRs, but I thought it would be cute to get an OT5 set in the same concept to like fill up this page. I have a lot of pops for this era. I kind of balled out a little bit. So not only do I have these two QR cards, but I have, sorry, that's my Tamagotchi. <laughs> I have this set which is so cute. I was originally just going to get that set for Yojin and Vivi. I actually had the Yojin previously, but I was looking online and someone was selling the OT5 set for a really good price and it was in the concept I was looking for. So I figured we just would do this set. Okay. Oh, these page, I didn't mention what these pages are. These are the Muji pages yeah these are the muji pages i know that there are a lot of companies that do five pocket pages or like different sized pocket pages i was considering them but these pages i bought were actually used i bought these secondhand on mercari japan i'll put the search term on screen but yeah i pretty much just searched like muji pocket page and then either put like just the number 10 or A4 or whatever, and I just filter to find these, search for a while. But yeah, these are these pages I'm using. I really like them. And I also wanted ones that I would be able to mix in with my other pages that would just fit the most amount of binders possible because I really just like plain white binders. Like I really don't like to have my cards stored in any other kind of a binder configuration, so. That was all for album cards and a little supplies rant. This is a little disorganized, but I'll definitely put links to everything. Or like I said, I'll put those search terms that I use. I know that they do sell these 10 pocket pages on Muji Korea's website, but I don't have a Korean address. And I also just like to buy supplies secondhand. So yeah, okay, rant over. Now on to the pobs. This is everything I have on hand. I am missing the Vivi for this set. I do have it on the way though. I got someone else's group order slot. So she will go down here. I know this is an Everline set. This is also Everline. And as I stored the other cards in member order, so Yojin and then Vivi. Oh, these are also Everline. I guess Everline did a lot in these outfits. This first page will be the only page that I have like laid out how I want to have it laid out just because most of these are in the same outfit. And like 
Oh my god. Kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I love cat ear cards. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then this set. Come on. Oh wait, these were from... No idea. These are from Soundwave. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is the first page of Lubopobs. This next page, I'm just gonna fill with them. I do have kind of a layout in mind for some of these cards, but not like super seriously. These are Soundwave again. These two are K-Town, actually, I think I remember. These were like one of the early K-Town rounds. I will leave in the description the user whose templates I've been using. They update them super frequently and they're really easy to look at. So if you're looking for Lucembo Pob templates, I will show you who I recommend. <laughs> these, ah! These are the ones I got when I bought my album. So they're kind of special. I don't know, to me at least. And then I also have, these are the other version of the OT5 set I have. So I was thinking about just getting Yovies, but this is really cute. And these are in the space concept, which I like. Yeah, okay. That's this page. And then the final page. Vivi asking for my hand in marriage. Oh my God, these are so cute. So I do have a lot of the like food ones on the way. <laughs> Most of those are gonna go on this page. And then I have an extra because I know I definitely will need to fill up a full nother page of cards once I have everything on hand. But, <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, let's do a little flip through of just the loose symbol section because um, the camera is already flipped this way and then that'll be the video. Okay, also as I was slipping through, I forgot to mention, the sleeves I used for this are the Mayday Games. They're like the purple maybe is what these sleeves are called. And then these fillers are just the same exact sleeves. I just cut paper to fit inside of them to make it like a white background. And I didn't make one for this page. It's kind of embarrassing. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you, Luna and related projects. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.